From you wake up every morning, you's a winner, yeah. What's going on, guys? It's a girl, Razor, in the brr d d ding And today, I'll be sharing with you guys my after wash day routine that I've been doing for the past year or so that has helped me retain a lot of length. If you missed my recent wash day hair video where I tell you guys the ins and outs of how I wash my natural hair, you should definitely check that video out. I'll put all the video links in my description box below. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, touch up that subscribe button. Okay, let's take it way back. So we went all the way back to 2017. Okay, if you're new, new. I cut my hair back in 2016. So in 2017, I was just learning my hair, learning what styles I like, learning what products I like to use in my hair. So we're gonna fast forward to 2018. I feel like this is when I was grasping the concept of how I like to wear my hair. I mostly wore my hair in washing rolls around this time. It was the quickest and easiest thing for me to do and I mastered a hair growth routine from wearing my hair in washing rolls. As you guys saw in 2017 to 2018, my hair growth spiked and it even spiked more in 2019. During the last couple months in 2018 to 2019 to now 2020, I started to wear my hair in a lot of stretched styles, protective styles, low maintenance styles such as twist, braid, and my hair was stretched out a lot more often versus when I was wearing washing goals in the beginning a lot more. I do wear my hair out in different out styles but for the majority of the times I'm wearing my hair stretched. So my after wash day routine would be different if I'm wearing a style such as a wash and go, a twist out, a braid out, you name it. So I repeat, this is what I usually do after wash day. This step is optional but most times I do apply leave-in conditioner because it helps make my hair a lot more manageable before I actually moisturize and style. So in these clips, I'm just using my spray leave-in conditioner, applying that all over my hair before I break my hair into sections. This is done so when I actually break my hair into sections, my hair is already prepped, already low-key moisturized. Because to be honest, for some of us, all we do need is a leave-in conditioner to moisturize our hair. But some of us take the extra step so that we can have long-lasting moisture. Okay, so let's go straight into the actual moisturizer rising routine please pay attention because these steps are important so first I warm up the product in my hands by rubbing my hands together and I apply the product on my hair I usually do this on damp hair right you can do this on wet hair if you want but I like to start on damp hair as you can see I'm not just going to slap the product on my hair no you have to work that product in your hair to make sure that it gets into every strand and this is the part of my routine that i think takes the most time to be honest because i really make sure that i work that product in and if you're using quality products you will see that your hair looks a lot more hydrated and since my hair was fresh out of the shower you guys didn't see me spritz water on my hair which i usually do which is usually the first step for me before I add any product in my hair. But my hair was wet already. So now we're going to detangle my hair. And I think we all should know this by now. First of all, stop trying to style your hair when you're frustrated because some of you just be ripping your hair out. Like, what you do that, sis? Like, start from the ends, and as you can see, that's what I'm doing. And I work my way up. I twist and turn the sections into different positions just so I can get every strand detangled. And I'm being as gentle as I can. Why are you mad? Calm down. Like, it's okay. Stop ripping your hair out. When I feel like my hair is detangled enough, I love to stretch my hair in braids mostly medium to chunky size braids sometimes i make it cute because i'll actually rock braids as a hairstyle this step is optional because some people love to stretch their hair using a blow dryer some people use bantu knots some people use um perm rods this is a part in some people's routine where they would try a wash and go combo and you know, like experiment with the hair, but over here we just apply some braids or add some braids. I'm going to go over these steps one more time for the people that I'm in the back. 
for the people who did not hear what I said. You know, I had to bring up the accent, you know, because some people, y'all don't listen. So we're gonna do it one more time. We came into this process with freshly washed hair. So my hair was already damp. So I did not need to reapply or spritz water in my hair. I applied my product of choice, made sure I got my ends, made sure I got the full length of my hair and I worked it in. Then I detangled my hair from ends to roots and I took my time, twisted my hair into different positions, well the section into different positions just so I can get every strand, made sure that my hair was thoroughly detangled before I braided my hair down. Boom, boom, bam. My braids are usually medium sized or chunky, but sometimes I would, you know, make them look neat and cute if I'm going to rock my hair in braids. And also during this time, I examine my ends to see if I need to dust a little bit to get rid of those raggedy strands that just, you know, can't let us be great. Then we go on to oiling my scalp. So I'm all done braiding up. Sometimes I will leave this for a day or two, maybe three or maybe a week, you know, depends on how I'm feeling. Now I'm going to oil my scalp and I just put it in the part and then I sneak the nozzle up in there in the plait. And I like to do this on wash day because my scalp is Dripping. damp or wet and it receives the oil a lot better that way. And now we're gonna lay the hands on the scalp and just massage it. I used a little bit too much this time, but yes, we're gonna massage that in. This is usually the only time I really massage my scalp. Massage that in for a minute or two and then put on my scarf or my bonnet just so that all the product doesn't get on my pillow, you know, that can cause breakout and I'm just not ready to sleep on my pillow yet with my hair out even though I do have a satin pillowcase. Ever since I made the video on the supplements that I take for healthy hair, hair growth, and healthy skin, you guys have been asking me to do a video on how I actually take the supplement and how often I take them. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend that you watch it and then come back to watch this again so that you would know what each supplement does. So let's start off with my morning coffee. Sometimes I drink coffee or tea in the morning. It depends on how I'm feeling. So I'm just showing you guys all the ingredients one time so you can see exactly what I'm using. So first I'm going to add about two spoons of instant coffee. I add my non-dairy creamer. We added some MSM powder. As I said, check out that video because you guys are probably like, what are these ingredients? You gotta watch the video. Then we add some collagen peptides and my sweetener of choice. Then I add my hot water. Most times I usually don't eat breakfast in the morning so this holds me so well until it's lunchtime. And I've been drinking this for about, I'll say more than a year or so. And guys, keep this between you and I, but sometimes I add some chocolate syrup. Yes, love me some chocolate. And these are the pills that I usually take in the morning. I have vitamin C, I have turmeric, and I also have some fish oil omega-3. Stay tuned for the end of the video and I'll show you how I make my hair grow tea. So no coffee this time. The last and final step. Well, not really, but it's the last and final step in this video. I went about one, two, three, four, maybe five, maybe a week. Okay, we get it, sis. We went a couple days before I actually combed or brushed out my hair. So I'm just unraveling the braids so you guys can see how moisturized my hair still is. Can we talk about it? So now I'm going to brush out my hair and my hair will be easy to brush out because it's soft moisturized detangled hydrated you name it and we didn't have to use heat at all usually if i were to style my hair the same day i'll go section by section well i'll use the section that i need at that time and style my hair accordingly or one time like say for instance if i were to do twists I will take out that back section, brush it out, and just do the twist on that section, then take out the next braid, unravel and detangle, and 
the one just so that I won't get overwhelmed styling all my hair at once but as I said it depends on the style I wasn't going to style my hair on that day so I just did a big bantu knot bun on the top of my head it would further stretch my hair and just to keep my hair out of my way until I'm ready to style yes boo bun it up bun it up lastly in this video I'm going to share my hair grow tea with you guys even though I have a full and detailed video already up on my channel about this so you should definitely check that out I'll put that in the description box I usually drink this one in the day or night but for the coffee I'll take that early morning or during the morning same ingredients my collagen peptides but only thing new in this one is that I'm using moringa leaf powder we have my MSM powder we also have peppermint tea I've tried a lot of different teas but peppermint is my favorite to use in this mixture so I add two tea bags my MSM powder, my collagen peptide, and my Moringa powder. And we're gonna sweeten it with honey. Disclaimer, I'm not telling you guys that you have to take these supplements and drink it in the way that I do. I'm just showing you guys what I do, just in case you were interested and you want to try it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope this video was informative. I hope it would be helpful in some way and hope you guys enjoy. Bye.